Well, whether it's spending time at a local senior daycare center, planting a tree, or lending a helping hand at the animal shelter, volunteering helps to build stronger communities. So to celebrate volunteers and the impact of their work, the United Way of Miami-Dade is partnering with local organizations to offer a schedule of volunteer opportunities in honor of National Volunteer Week, which kicks off this weekend. Here to share more is Louisa Cotto, Director of Engagement with the United Way of Miami-Dade and Engagement Committee member Ethan Creo. Nice to have both of you with us. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. This is so great. So Louisa, a lot of folks know about the United Way, but aren't necessarily familiar with some of the work they do. And one of the big things and activities is volunteerism. So talk about Volunteer Week and how important this is to kind of to your mission. Absolutely. Yeah. So National Volunteer Week uh, is an opportunity not only to uh, recognize all of our volunteers in our community, but also to provide opportunities where you can actually give back to the community. So we are going to have uh, 12 different projects starting from April 6 uh, to April 13. Excellent. So Ethan, you are a committee member. Excellent. You are a volunteer. Tell us why you're so passionate about this. Yeah, so, you know, simply put, you know, at the end of the day, um, I believe that there's kind of no greater feeling than you know helping others and and that's what you ultimately uh, do by volunteering and that's uh, a pretty rewarding thing and so um, that's the main uh, reason why I do it and then there's a lot of other great benefits to it as yeah. well. Yeah and you said too that you're not originally from Miami you're kind of new to this community so that was a great way to get involved talk a little bit more about that. Yeah absolutely um, so I'm from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania originally and so when I got involved with United Way about three years ago. Um, I had been living here for about five years, but didn't really know the city that well, didn't really feel like I, was, I actually had a connection here. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted to find a way to, to change that and to get more involved and to learn more about you know, where I've been living for five years, yeah. right? And, and so um, I got in, involved through Link Miami, which is United Way's uh, Young Professionals uh, giving community and uh, from there I've just been um, kind of had a journey through a lot of different volunteer events yeah. all over the city um, met a lot of very interesting people along the way went to neighborhoods I didn't even know existed yeah. um, and so in doing that um, feel like I'm a, I'm a member of the community now yeah Louisa let's talk a little bit about uh, and before we get into some of the uh, events that are coming up that we're gonna let people know about let's talk about kind of springboarding off of what Ethan was saying and getting to know his community and getting to know people. Something else that's, that comes out of volunteerism and studies have been done on this is that it's not only good for the people you're helping, it's good for you. Talk about like the physical benefits that Absolutely. people get from helping out. Absolutely. So just last year uh, during National Volunteer Week, I am awful with plans. <laughs> so we had a volunteer event at Easter Seals where we were helping uh, create an orchid garden. And I, for the first time, I'm a proud owner of an orchid. Yay, congrats. Um, <laughs> so you basically learn skills. Mm -hmm. uh, you learn um, how to navigate Miami. You meet people. It's good for you. Yeah, um, it's a stress it, reducer too, right? It is, yeah. it is. And it's really good for individuals and also companies to get involved in our community that way. Right, so let's go ahead and show uh, some of the, a list of some of the events that are coming up. I know one of the first ones is a senior center and I think we're gonna pull up some of those on our screen. So people can go online and get a list of some of the things that are coming up day by day. So talk about some of them for us. So Senior Day of Excellence it, with Mina Melody. Mina Melody was one of, uh, a winner of one of our grants for Inspire 305. And what the great thing that they do is that they provide musical um, uh, interactions with older adults with dementia. Oh, so wow. that helps them um, throughout, the, throughout the day. So volunteers will have the opportunity not only to be oh, part of that cute. musical, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, to be part of that musical uh, interaction. But and is that also, what's going on here? They're dancing yeah. with so, some of the seniors? Yeah, yeah. we have uh, dancing, we have playing dominoes and bingo. So you will have the opportunity to interact with seniors. Uh, with dementia and without dementia as well. Yeah, Ethan, talk about some of the benefits you've seen, because I know you've done some things with Mission United, which is helping veterans, right? Yeah, talk, absolutely. Talk about some of those connections you've made. Sure, so yeah. um, just about a week ago, actually, um, went to a great event that was hosted by Mission United, which is United Way's holistic support system for local veterans that are you know, assimilating back into civilian life here yeah. in Miami. 
Uh, and so this event was uh, titled Mission United Operation Carnival. Mm -hmm. uh, Luis and I were both there. Okay. Um, we spent a few hours just hosting this kind of fun little carnival for the, the patients at the VA hospital oh, nice. uh, locally and just kind of playing fun little games with them and they could win prizes and whatnot. And you know, every single person that was there, both veterans and the volunteers, left with a very big smile on their face. Wow. And uh, the veterans were, were very grateful to us. Um, and so it, it was special being able to you know, give a little bit back to, to, to them who gave so much to us. Yeah. Um, and so that was a very, uh, very impactful um, event and, and kind of reminds you why you do it. Right? Absolutely. And like you said, to let them know that somebody cares. Exactly. Right. Louisa, talk about talk about the volunteers for a moment. They have to be at least 18 years of age, correct? Yeah. So yeah. we have uh, some of our volunteer opportunities are happening on Saturdays mm -hmm. where you can bring your children um, of any age uh, as long as you obviously pay attention to them uh -huh. um, during the volunteer project. Uh, but during the week, we're going to be having some volunteer opportunities that we need uh, our volunteers to be 18 years old. Or okay. Older. Right. And some of them are beautifying. I mean, there are a lot of projects. There's, can there's, you tick off some of them yeah, for us? 12 different projects. We're going to be at Arc of South Florida on Saturday, just making sure that they have a beautiful uh, building painted and a garden. We're going to be with Minor Melody that we already mentioned. We're going to do an intergenerational garden at Easter Seals. Oh, nice. uh, we're going to be with the Miami Dade County um, a service animal, uh, just making sure that we have uh, volunteer opportunities that also uh, get animals involved. And it's, it's, it's the one that is the most popular. I bet. Um, and then also, we're going to be. Um, working with um, basically with the entire community we're gonna be painting we're gonna do mindful uh, mindfulness classes it's gonna be it's gonna be great yeah and for for the teen well let's see the older teens if the if a teen comes with an adult can that teen also get service hours a lot of all the high school kids they have to get service Abs hours absolutely okay, we provide service deal. hours yeah all right another big thing to mention this is April is United Way's birthday month it's a biggie. Tell us about it. So we've been around for 95 years. It's amazing, uh, right? It's fantastic. So we're going to be engaging six organizations that we've been funding since 1924. Wow. Um, that include YMCA, YWCA, Children's Home Society, Jewish Community Services, and I'm going to miss a couple of ones, <laughs> but go to our website and you can find out on April 24, we're going to be um, hosting around six different projects across all Miami-Dade County to celebrate our 95th birthday in a big way. Uh, we want to give back to the community. We have a big challenge uh, this year that we're kicking off with 9,500 volunteers for 95 wow. projects. So we're calling that 9,500 for 95 challenge. <laughs> so I hope that all of you uh, are part of this challenge and, and are part of all of our volunteer opportunities. Thank you so much, Luisa. Absolutely. Great to have you, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you. And it's going to be a fun us. week of volunteering, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, and for more information on all the events that we discussed today, visit volunteermiami.org. We'll also have more information on volunteer opportunities throughout South Florida on our Facebook page at Your South FL.